So, I needed a trailer for hauling the MX-5 about. So I picked up this Brian James. Gonna give it a wee tidy up. Hey guys, so last time you saw the trailer I was washing it down, uh, since then I put the mud guards on, uh, I did that after work one day and I didn't have the camera with me. Uh, this mud guard here, it folds down like that, so you can get the driver's door open. Um, so I need to make a wee tab to hold that so that when you're driving it doesn't fall down. Um, I then need to make a rod for the front and the back to the lights and then we've got some used buffalo boards to the centre and then we will be done and we can tow some shit So I've now taken the wheel and the hub off to have a look in here. I've actually looked inside all four of these here and they all look pretty good. Uh, I see someone's put new springs and stuff in the past. Um, so what you gotta do is take one of your wheel bolts out and adjust this wee rotary wheel thing. I think you would hit just to start binding up on the drum and then you crack it back a wee bit and that should be enough tension on your brake drums I think I'm just making this up so if I'm wrong sorry and with the wheel back on you have to try and remember where that wee thing is so I've got this just to where the brake's starting to bind a wee bit so I just gotta click it off one more time. I think that should be pretty good. Right, only another three to go. So here we go. Palm brakes on. That one's tight. That one's tight. That one's tight. <coughs> and that one's tight. Take the handbrake off. And we have free spinning wheels. Tiny bit of drag in that one. You have to crank that back a wee here. And this one here is touching the ground. But believe me, it's loose. And this is my rod on you. So next up, I'm going to do the two light brackets, no both of them on. Both those light brackets are both done now. What I want to do before it gets dark is cut the boards.
There you go. Boards are now in place. I said, these boards are pretty good, Nick. Uh, just the edges are rotten. There you go, that's the edges that I cut off. They're pretty rough. This uh, buffalo board was off my boss's beaver tail. We'll put new wood in it for him. So there's already holes drilled in the trailer. So we'll check the tilt up, go underneath and drill up from the bottom. And then bolt them boards down that way. But uh, I'm going to do the wiring first. I thought I had some 7 core in the shed, but I don't, and there's only 5 core on the trailer because of these stupid magnetic lights. So I want to get this done today, so I'm just going to use this and we're going to make it work. So a quick wee Google before I start here gives me the color charts and what they do. <clears throat> so just a quick overview of what I've done here. There was a four core coming to the back, so already, so I'm just gonna leave that in. I uh, use that for my number plate lights. And I've ran cable to my left and my right light. And it goes up the trailer, across the axles, and then I'm gonna meet them in a box uh, over here but what I'm gonna do the lights I have I have to solder these wires on so that's the first thing I'm gonna do arrived. I have a bit of box jackson across the framework of the trailer. I then used a square to get a straight edge and draw a straight line down here. And I have made a wee bracket so I'm going to weld that on there like that and it should be pretty good. So that's that marker on. Uh, I'm just going to solder these wires up now. Uh, same on the other side. And then we'll put the number plate lights on and then we'll just wire it all into the wee box. Okay, so we're going to start working on the wiring here. We'll start feeding this through. So. I haven't done a whole lot of just strip these wires back, so to give us something to start from. So this is everything coming from the left hand side, passenger side. And that all goes into here, like so. Now we have this bundle of wires. We're gonna join them up in the order that it says in this list. So one is yellow, which is the left hand indicator. Okay, so if that's going to go there, I'll drill a hole here. For cable band, it's going to be for the feed to the socket, or the feed to the plug.
So there we go. Didn't look that tidy when I was doing it, but that's yeah, not too bad now. Would have been a lot quicker if I had bought one of the actual proper trailer blocks and you put the uh, speed connectors in. But uh, this is what I had, so yeah, just get the socket on. the lights and all on I'm just gonna go around the edge of this play here with a bit of used engine oil just to make it last a bit longer so time to put the wood on for one last thing I'm not going to be set of ramps here for the back of this trailer, but again, I don't have any angle at the minute, so I'm just cutting this bit of box down the middle. It's quite a heavy wall box, but yeah, I'm already started here, and it actually takes quite a while. So, I have everything here to finish these ramps off. Um, these aren't going to be the permanent ramps, but I needed something temporary at least. 